Okay, so first of all, in this video, I'm going to be using the date diff function, which is a function to find out the difference between two dates. So with this function, we need to put in a start date and an end date, and then we need to give it the unit that we want. And we can have years or months or days. So I'll start by typing in equals date diff. And you'll see that date diff is not one of the functions that automatically comes up. And that is because this is an old function. Also, it won't automatically give us the arguments that we need to put in. You just need to remember that you need to put in the start date and then the end date and then the unit that you want. So I want to have years, so I'll put Y in here and then close brackets and enter. And this tells me that I have two years in between these two dates. And I actually want to be able to see the word years, so I'm going to put an and symbol after this, and then quotation marks and space and the word years, and then another space and close quotation marks and enter. And now I can see that I have two years. Now I'm going to copy this formula, and I will do the same thing, but this time I'll change it to show me the months. So I need this to be changed to M, and then I'll change the word here to months, and enter. And this gives me the total number of months, which isn't actually what I want. I want the number of months left over after the two years has been taken away. And in order to get that, I need to change this here to YM and enter. And now I can see that I have two months. Then I will do the same thing, but for the number of days. So I'll change this here to D and change the word to days. And I'll delete the space at the end and enter. And again, this gives me the total number of days, which isn't actually what I want. I want to know the number of days left over after I have taken away the two months and the two years. And in order to get this, I need to change this here to MD and enter. And now I have three days. With the units, you have six different options for the different ways it can show you the years, the months, and the days. Now I will combine these three formulas together. So I'll copy the months formula here, and then I will use an AND symbol to join it to the end of the years. Then I'll do the same thing with the days. So I will copy this here and then use an AND symbol to add it on to the end. And now I have the years, the months, and the days all together, and I can double click to send this formula down. Now this is quite a long formula, and there are a few ways that we can deal with that. To start with, I will turn this into a let formula. So I'll put let open brackets, and then I need close brackets at the end of this. Then I can add in my first name, which I will call start date, and the cell reference for this will be A3. Then I'll also have end date, and the cell reference will be B3. Then I can copy the word start date, date, and I can paste it in over the top of all of the A3 cell references. Then I'll do the same thing for the end date, so I will copy this and paste it in over the top of all of the B3 cell references. And now when I press enter, the formula will still give me the same result. But with the let formula, I only need to put in the cell reference for the start date and the end date once, and then it will just use these same values over and over again for the rest of the formula. Then I can also turn this into a lambda formula. So I'll change this here to lambda, 
and then I can delete the self reference here and delete it here as well. And now with the lambda formula, I need to add an open and closed brackets onto the end of this. And then I need to select the cell references that I want and then enter. And this gives me the same result. Now I've got the lambda formula set up. I can copy all of this except for the last set of open and closed brackets. Then I can go to the formulas tab and define a new name. I will call the name date words. And then in the refers to box, I'll paste in the lambda formula that I just copied and OK. And now that I have that set up, I can do equals date words and it shows up here. And then I can put in the start date and the end date and enter. And this will also get me the same results. Now this lambda formula is currently only in this workbook. There are a few different ways of copying lambda formulas into other workbooks, but I'm not going to be talking about them now because it's not the focus of this video. Another method that we can use is to take the let formula and turn it into an autocorrect option. So in order to do this, I'm going to copy this formula here and then go to file and go to options and then proofing and autocorrect options. Now here in the replace box, I will type date words and in the with box, I will paste in the let formula that I just copied and then add this and OK and OK again. And now this is an autocorrect option. So I can type in date words and enter and this will change in to the let formula. Now with this autocorrect method, the cell references don't change. So you always have to change the cell references to show you the right values. But the advantage of the autocorrect method is that this formula is now available in all of your workbooks so you can use it whenever you want. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to use the date diff function to get the difference between two dates in Excel, and that is everything.